Hi guys, this is Saurav here and welcome to another session for online Patshala. I'm very very sorry I was not able to take this session on Monday because of uh, an injury to my finger. Uh, I'm pretty fine today. Thank you and thanks a lot for your wishes. And this session we would be covering one another important aspect of colligative properties that is known as depression of freezing point. Okay, by now we have finished uh, relative lowering of vapor pressure and elevation in boiling point. So today's session is about depression of freezing point. So this session is meant for students who are currently in class 12th. Also, it is to tell you guys that please do, please do sub, uh, download the doubt solving app because you can get your doubts solved at any point of time during the day or night while going on to the doubt solving app. You can have a lot of like all these sessions are available over there. Also, you can practice a lot of tests. There's a lot of free study materials. It's a good thing. Uh, free may bahut sari cheeze aapko mil rahi hai. You should have it on your phone. Okay, it's a must have on your phone. Okay, so uh, I hope everybody is doing good. And let's start today's session with what is freezing point and what is known as the depression of freezing point. Let's talk about what happens when we freeze something. So let's start with this idea ki mere paas ek pani ka bottle hai. Let's say I have a vessel in which there is water at 40 degrees Celsius and I have dropped a piece of ice in it. So hum kya dekhenge us time pe? The moment I put some ice in it, what will happen? I would see that the ice is melting into water. I will see that ice is melting. In, so ice starts escaping into liquid water sooner than liquid water sooner than liquid water depositing on the surface of ice. So what I should have observed is ki dono tarafs, do processes ho rahe hain. One is escaping of ice into liquid water and one is water settling on the surface of ice. But the process at this temperature, what happens? Ice prefers to melt and water doesn't prefer to settle down. Okay. Let's lower the temperature a bit. I lower the temperature to 20 degrees Celsius. What would happen? If I lower the temperature 20 degrees Celsius, I would see that the rate at which ice is melting has con decreased considerably. And I can see some organization or thoda sa arrangement ho ja raha hai around ice. So the rate of escaping of liquid water has rid reduced compared to the liquid water escaping into ice. So, so the point is, there is some reduction in that. Okay, there's some reduction in the tendency of ice changing into water. What happens at zero degree Celsius? I would see, I would see that the rate at which ice is converting into water and the rate at which water is settling around ice is exactly equal. Agar one atmospheric temp pressure pe ye temperature humne maintain kiya, the rate of ice melting into liquid water and the rate of water forming ice are same and there is an equilibrium which is established. So ek equilibrium established ho jata hai and this equilibrium situation is when we call the freezing point. Freezing point of a particular liquid is the temperature at a given pressure at which it converts spontaneously into a solid state or we can say that solid and liquid equilibriums are maintained at the freezing point. For freezing point to be observed at a particular temperature, I have external pressure ki knowledge. Honi if I talk about water, then for water, when the pressure is one atmosphere, the freezing point is zero degree Celsius. But if I change the pressure, freezing point change kar jata hai. Okay. So with this idea, let's move on to ki depression in freezing point. Yeah, what will happen if I add some solute? Theek hai? Hum jab solute add kar denge, to kya hoga? Okay. So what will happen if the solute is added? So imagine a pure solvent. Pure solvent will contain all pure solvent molecules. No impurity. Pure solvent means no impurity. 
प्योर सॉल्वेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स विल ट्राई टू ऑर्गेनाइज दमसेल्स एंड एक्वायर द सॉलिड स्टेट ओके एक पर्टिकुलर क्रिस्टल लैटिस फॉर्म करने की कोशिश करेंगे सो वेन ए सॉल्वेंट इज नॉट प्योर एंड हैज पार्टिकल्स डिजोल्व इन इट देर आर कंस्टिटेंट बीट मॉलिकल आयोन्स दैट टेक अप द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सो सोल्यूशन में आपने कुछ सोल्यूट डाल दिया दिस सोल्यूट इज नाउ अ पार्ट ऑफ द होल सोल्यूशन एंड द the solvent molecules which were earlier getting organized in the form of a lattice at a particular temperature now would find it difficult to get organized kyunki kya ho raha hai aapne kuch solute dal diya hai wo us jagah pe aake fit ho gaye hain jahan pe ki organization ho raha tha okay so for freezing to occur these constituents need to aggregate to form lattice The constituents need to aggregate. Aggregate का मतलब साथ में आना They need to aggregate to form a lattice. However, when the solvent is not pure, when it is not pure and it has some dissolved solutes, there is a blockade. एक block आ जाता है एक blockade आ जाता है एक hindrance आ जाती है जिससे कि they cannot any longer form that lattice very easily. Okay, what is solute, sir? गाइज <coughs> पहले के वीडियोस देख लीजिए सॉल्यूट और सॉल्वेंट का डेफिनेशन हमने वहां पर डिफाइन कर चुका है नाउ सो so, जैसे ही हम कुछ सॉल्यूट डालेंगे इट विल डिसरप्ट द अरेंजमेंट व्हिच कुड हैव हैपेंड एट अ गिवन टेम्परेचर जैसे हम कुछ डालते हैं व्हाट हैपेंस द रैंडमनेस ऑफ द सिस्टम इंक्रीजेस दैट मीन्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी इंक्रीजेस सो आई नीड टू रिड्यूस द टेम्परेचर इवन फर्दर सो दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अगेन ऑकर्स सो देर फॉर द टेम्परेचर नीड्स टू बी रिड्यूस्ड फर्दर टू स्लो डाउन द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ ऑल कंस्टिट्यूएंट सो दैट सो दैट लैटिस फॉर्मेशन ऑकर्स सो द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू नो अबाउट फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट इज और डिप्रेशन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट इज कि डिप्रेशन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट इज एफेक्टेड बाई द एंट्रॉपी ऑफ द सोल्यूशन जैसे ही आपने एक सॉल्वेंट को सॉल्यूशन में कन्वर्ट कर दिया आपने उसकी एंट्रोपी काफी इंक्रीज कर दी सो so, एंट्रोपी को वापस से उस लेवल पे लाके डिक्रीज करना जहां पर कि फ्रीजिंग हो सके उसके लिए आपको टेम्परेचर और रिड्यूस करना पड़ता है ओके यू हैव टू रिड्यूस द टेम्परेचर इवन फर्दर बिकॉज आपने एंट्रोपी इंक्रीज कर दी है ओके सो दिस इज द मेजर रीजन फॉर डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट इसको हम इस डायग्राम से भी समझ सकते हैं एंड दिस डायग्राम इज नॉट गिवन इन एनी बुक्स सो इसको बहुत अच्छे समझिए आई होप यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड प्लीज टू हिट द लाइक बटन गाइज बिकॉज इट मोटिवेट्स अस टू डू अ लॉट लॉट बेटर सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस डायग्राम आई होप यू हैव सीन दिस डायग्राम वॉट इज दिस डायग्राम कॉल्ड दिस डायग्राम इज नोन एज द फेज डायग्राम फेज डायग्राम मैं यहां पे लिख देता हूं उसको आप समझ लीजिए ये थोड़ा सा एडवांस का कंसेप्ट हो गया लेकिन दिस इज नोन एज फेज डायग्राम फेज का मतलब समझते हैं फेज इज द स्टेट इन विच अ सब्सटेंस इज प्रेजेंट सो इफ आई टेक वॉटर वॉटर के तीन फेजेस होते हैं दे इज सॉलिड द इज लिक्विड एंड द इज गैशियस सो जब एक फेज डायग्राम हम लेते हैं देन इन द फेज डायग्राम वी ट्राई टू शो दैट एट व्हाट प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर कंडीशन अ सर्टेन स्टेट ऑफ मैटर ऑफ दैट गिवन कॉम सब्सटेंस विल एग्जिस्ट फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज अ फेज डायग्राम फॉर वाटर ओके यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव टेकन प्रेशर ऑन वाई एक्सिस एंड टेम्परेचर ऑन एक्स एक्सिस इट्स अ प्रेशर वर्सेस प्रेशर वर्सेस टेम्परेचर प्लॉट प्रेशर वर्सेस टेम्परेचर प्लॉट आप यहां पे देख रहे हैं कि सॉलिड लिखा हुआ है यू कैन सी दैट इज लिक्विड रिटर्न ओवर हियर यू कैन सी दैट देर इज अ गैस रिटर्न ओवर हियर व्हाट इज दिस व्हाट डज दिस मीन इट मींस सपोज आई टेक दिस प्रेशर एज्यूम दैट आई टेक दिस प्रेशर एंड आई टेक दिस टेम्परेचर दिस टेम्परेचर एंड दिस प्रेशर i will these two points will coincide over here which region am i getting into is pressure or temperature ke liye is solvent ka kaun sa region mein maar rahe hain in which region am i coming i am coming in the solid state 
So if I take this pressure and this temperature, I will get the solid state of water. Okay. Let's take another situation. I take this pressure and I take this temperature. I scroll lake jao pe. Which state am I getting? Which state am I getting? You can see that for this pressure and this temperature. P dash and T dash le let me. So for P dash and T dash, I can see that I am landing up in this part of the graph. In this part, and this part is the liquid state. Matlab, agar maine ek water ko is pressure, this pressure pe rakha, and I keep it at this temperature, I will get water in the liquid state. Now, a lot of people might be having a question, ki, sir, what is this bold line indicating? Ye bold line aapko dikh hai. What is this bold line indicating? So, bold line indicates a situation where there is an equilibrium. The bold line indicates a situation where there is an equilibrium. So, you can see this point, any point, all of these points, all of these pressure temperature conditions represent equilibrium. All of these pressure temperature conditions represent equilibrium. Let me take a different. So, ye point, ye point, ye point, ye point, ye point. Is pure line pe ye equilibrium represent kar raha hai. Now, this point is bit or this bold line is between solid and liquid. So, this temperature pressure condition is the temperature pressure condition for equilibrium to exist between solid and liquid. This temperature pressure condition is the temperature pressure condition for equilibrium to exist between solid, uh, liquid and gas. Okay. Is that understood? So bold line represents pressure temperature conditions when equilibrium will exist. Any other point will suggest ki kaha pe kaun sa phase aega. Okay. It's very, very simple. Very, very simple. Baut aram se usko samaj sakte hain. Let's try to understand कि जब हम सॉल्यूट डालते हैं तो क्या होता है? <coughs> एक फीचर मैंने और बताना था मैं भूल गया। ये देखो यहाँ पे कुछ लिखा हुआ है ट्रिपल पॉइंट। There's something known as triple point। आप देख रहे हो कि सॉलिड, लिक्विड एंड वेपर यहाँ पे एक ट्रिपल पॉइंट लिखा गया है। And you can see that these plots like these lines intersect at this point. The triple point is a specific pressure and temperature condition at which solid, liquid and vapor will coexist. Matlab, agar aapne a camera fit kiya and you observe the pressure of 4.5 mm of Hg and temperature of 0 0.01 degree Celsius at this temperature, at this temperature, at this temperature, you can see water vapor, liquid and solid to exist simultaneously in the vessel. Okay, and it's a very interesting phenomenon. Ye kisi or condition mein nahi hota hai. So, kisi ne agar ye kaha, aap, aapne bachpan mein kabhi apne teacher se poochha hoga, ki sir, solid, liquid and gas, teeno ek saath exist nahi kar sakte hai, kya? Bohut logon ne ye kaha diya hata hai. And I think a lot of people have gotten this answer that no, they cannot exist, but yes, they do exist for any, for any matter which exists, for any matter that exists, we would have a triple point. But triple point ka value kuch aur ho sakta kisi aur ke liye. For water, it is 4.5 mm of Hg and temperature is 0.01. Okay, temperature is 0.01. Okay. Now, there are a lot of videos on YouTube where you can see triple point of water. You can see the video where they can, they're talking about how the triple point of water looks like. Kya dikta hai aapko us samay? You would see solid, you would also see liquid, you'll also see vapor. So simultaneous conversion hota rehta hai. So, it's a beautiful video. Please do search for it. Dekhiye. Next class mein mein bhi agar koshish karunga, agar mujhe kuch aza milta hai, if I can show you that, I will try to show you that as well. What will happen when I, okay, what will happen 
when I add some solute in a solvent. एक बात बताइए when I add some solute in a solvent, what happens to the vapor pressure? What happens to the vapor pressure? The vapor pressure decreases. ठीक है So vapor pressure अगर decrease करता है then I will get a new curve like this. वेपर प्रेशर डिक्रीज कर जाएगा सेम टेम्परेचर पे सो फॉर एट सेम प्रेशर वेपर प्रेशर विल डिक्रीज आई विल गेट समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड द ट्रिपल पॉइंट विल आल्सो शिफ्ट ओके सो व्हाट आई हैव डन इज अर्लियर लेट्स से एट टेम्परेचर 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस वेपर प्रेशर वाज 760 Now the vapor pressure will be less than that. तो आप देख रहे हैं सेम टेम्परेचर पे वेपर प्रेशर इज डिक्रीजिंग सो यू आर गेटिंग अ लोअर वेपर प्रेशर ओके यू आर गेटिंग अ लोअर वेपर प्रेशर लेट्स एक्स्ट्रापोलेट लेट्स एक्स्ट्रापोलेट सॉरी so earlier the triple point was here now aapka triple point bhi shift kar jayega your whole plot will shift okay your whole plot will shift so at this juncture we can make an assessment very beautifully let's say hum pressure ko one atmosphere rehne dete hain i keep the pressure at one atmosphere so this is one atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure can i say that this is the boiling point of solvent this plot is for solution okay this is the boiling point of solvent ye jo likha hai humne boiling point of solvent likha hai so this will become what this will become boiling point of solution this will become boiling point of solution what can you see is the boiling point increasing or is the boiling point decreasing when you are adding a solute kya ho raha hai boiling point kis taraf move kar raha hai towards the right so i am observing the boiling point to increase using this assessment बॉइलिंग पॉइंट आपका इंक्रीज कर रहा है सो एलिवेशन इन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एलिवेशन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट अब मूव करते हैं फ्रीजिंग की तरफ लेट्स मूव टूवर्ड्स फ्रीजिंग क्या होना चाहिए दिस वॉज द अर्लियर सिनेरियो दिस पॉइंट वॉज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ सोल्यूशन this was the freezing point of sorry this was the freezing point of solvent now this is the new freezing point this is the freezing point of solution i am moving in the left hand side so this shows a decrease that means if i add a solute the boiling point should increase and the freezing point should decrease okay i am showing it right away in a single plot aur ek hi plot mein maine boiling point ka elevation and freezing point ka depression dikha diya so this is something which is not given in ncert but uh, you can like understand it easily ye aaram se aapko samajh mein aa sakta hai theek hai is that clear so if you understood this If you have understood this, let's move on to the next. Okay, let's move on to the next uh, point. Okay, so this is very very interesting. In NCERT, a single plot is given, freezing point, ka, and they have given this plot. They, in NCERT, what they have done is they have given something like this. Okay, so what they are showing is this for solvent and this for solution, and most of the people. follow this but this is like a part of the whole picture because the whole picture should include all three phases i should include all three phases theek okay? hai 
let's move on to the next thing so the calculation of depression in freezing point can be done as simply as we were doing for elevation boiling point formula does not change the only thing that changes is the proportionality constant which is known as the cryoscopic constant waha pe usko bolte the ebulloscopic constant or molar elevation constant over here we will we will call can we see the triple point of water yes priya you can uh, see the triple point of water it's very easy to see that uh, so <clears throat> like delta tb is the elevation in boiling point delta tf has also been found to depend on the molality so up t delta tf is proportional to molality and the proportionality constant is known as the cryoscopic constant or molar depression constant it's as simple as that okay it's as simple as that remember that kf will have the units of K kelvin kg per mole okay or degree celsius kg per mole that's it okay you do not have to worry anything more so aapke paas jo equations aapke aa jayenge if you take delta tb it will be kb times molality delta tf will be kf times molality so you could be given a question like this as well that you could be given a question for, like this as well ki aapke paas boiling point of a sol uh, <coughs> boiling point of a solution is given what is the freezing point and you are given the values of kb and kf or latent heat of vaporization or latent heat of fusion so don't worry about it exactly same formula mein aapko isko put kar dena hai and you can get the right answer okay let's try to solve some questions aur uske baad at the end of solving the questions we will look at what is the application of freezing point depression okay let's try to solve this questions I am not having a calculator. You can use a non-programmable calculator to solve the question. देखिए कैसे इसको solve करना है. The first question is, what is the freezing point of a 10% by weight? 10% by weight दिया हुआ है. Solution of CH3OH in water. So what is the meaning of 10% by weight? 10% by weight. So 10% by weight. means 10% w upon w okay 10% w upon w theek hai now w upon w likhne ka matlab ye hota hai ki 10 g of ch3oh is present in in 100 g of solution 100 g of solution sumita yeah you can ask no issues beta ab puch lijiye so it means 10 g of ch3oh plus 90 g of water 10 g of ch3oh plus 90 g of water now let's move ahead i have to calculate फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट निकालना है तो हम ऐसे कैल कर लेते हैं डेल्टा टी एफ विल बी इक्वल टू के एफ टाइम्स मोलैलिटी के एफ इज गिवन एज वन पॉइंट एट सिक्स वट विल बी द मोलैलिटी मोलैलिटी विल बी नंबर ऑफ मोल्स बाई मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन के जीज नंबर ऑफ मोल्स बाई मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन के जीज सो मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सी एस थ्री ओ एच इज थर्टी टू सो टेन अपॉन थर्टी टू इज द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सी एस थ्री ओ एच एंड मास ऑफ वॉटर इन के जी सो दैट विल बी नाइनटी अपॉन वन थाउजेंड दैट विल बी पॉइंट जीरो नाइन यू टेल मी वॉट इज द आंसर वॉट इज द मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन के जीज लेना होता है दियाश्री ओके You're getting 106.4 degrees. Just check your solution. What are you getting? 106. This is freezing point. It cannot be 106.4 degrees. Ritika, please check your solution. आ तो जाएगा हितेश. Yeah, it will come. So you're getting it as 6.45. 
सो सिक्स पॉइंट फोर फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस इज द डिप्रेशन ओके इट्स द डिप्रेशन सो इफ द ओरिजिनल टेम्परेचर वॉज जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस वेयर वॉटर वॉज फ्रीजिंग द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ सोल्यूशन विल बी माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट फोर फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके सो सिक्स वॉट यू कैलकुलेट ओवर हेयर इज नॉट द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन बट रैदर द डिप्रेशन मतलब आप कितना डिक्रीज किया वो कैलकुलेट करते हैं ओके यू कैलकुलेट दैट एंड सिक्स पॉइंट फोर फाइव इज द डिप्रेशन सो द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन विल बी लेस देन दिस जीरो सॉल्वेंट का जीरो है तो ये माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट फोर फाइव हो जाएगा ठीक है चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देखते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस कैलकुलेट द मास ऑफ एस्कॉर्बिक एसिड टू बी डिजोल्व इन सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मास ऑफ एस्कॉर्बिक एड टू बी डिजोल्व इन सेवन पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम ऑफ एस्कॉर्बिक एड टू लोअर इट्स मेल्टिंग पॉइंट बाई वन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस के एफ इज गिवन एज के एफ इज गिवन एज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन Kelvin kg per mole. Molar mass of ascorbic acid is given as 176.12. It's also an easy question. कोई ज़्यादा load नहीं लेना है इसमें. हमें mass निकालना है ascorbic acid का. So I can use the formula. Delta F will be equal to K F times molality. K F value is given as 3.9. Molality will be equal to weight. of ascorbic acid which needs to be dissolved by molecular weight which is 176.12 by mass of solvent in kg so 7.5 times 10 raised to minus 3 delta tf is given as 1.5 this equation ko aapko solve karna hai you should solve this equation and get the answer so w turns out to be equal to 1.5 Times seven point five times ten raised to minus three times one seventy six point one two by three point nine. This is the weight of solute. <coughs> I'm fine, Pratiksha. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I was not unwell. Okay, I had met with a small accident and everything. Okay, so my left finger was in my this finger was injured, and because of that, I was not able to take the class on Monday. Okay, so. This W आप इस तरह से निकाल लोगे कैन यू टेल मी सर कन्वर्टिंग सेल्शियस सी द थिंग इज दिस इज लोअरिंग लोअरिंग इज वन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्रीज सेल्सियस डिक्रीज किया या फिर कैलविन डिक्रीज किया द डिक्रीज विल रिमेन द सेम दिस डेल्टा Will remain the same. अगर आप डिग्री केल्विन अगर आप डिग्री सेल्सियस लेते हो और केल्विन लेते हो इट विल स्टिल रिमेन द सेम ओके इट विल रिमेन द सेम सो इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम इफ इट इज रिटर्न इज वन पॉइंट फाइव अगर मान लो कि आपका टेम्परेचर हंड्रेड है आपने रिड्यूस कर दिया नाइनटी नाइन इट इज वन डिग्री डिप्रेशन फॉर हंड्रेड यू कैन राइट थ्री सेवेंटी थ्री फॉर दिस यू विल राइट इट एज थ्री सेवेंटी टू स्टिल इट इज वन डिग्री डिप्रेशन और सो Makes no difference. Okay, you can, don't use a scientific calculator. Use a, so the answer comes as to be point five oh eight. Chalo, very good. The answer comes as to be point five oh eight grams. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> yes, we will complete the syllabus of J. Okay, a lot is there to come. Let's move ahead. Let's take this question. Calculate the amount of ice. ये बहुत बार ये question पूछा गया है in a number of examinations in a different manner. Calculate the amount of ice that will separate out on cooling a solution containing 50 gram of ethylene glycol in 200 grams of water to minus 9.3 degree Celsius. Okay, minus 9.3 degree Celsius. so how to solve this question this minus 9.3 tells us the depression in freezing point this is kf 
okay now how do we identify that how much solvent will separate out so what we will do is we will calculate the weight of solvent which gives us this degree of depression this extent of depression that amount of solvent will always all obviously be less than this okay or jitna difference hoga wo aapka ice ke form mein convert ho chuka hai so how do we solve this let's work it out del tf will be equal to kf times molality kf is 1.86 Molality will be written as 50 gram of ethylene glycol. So, what is the molecular weight of ethylene glycol? What is the molecular weight of ethylene glycol? Kya bata sakte hai Ethylene glycol is written as CH2OH. CH2OH. What is the molecular weight of ethylene glycol? So, molecular weight of ethylene glycol should turn out to be 24 plus 32 plus 6. So that should be 12, 62, okay, should be 62. Uh, Sumita, it's a very easy question, okay. Okay, so it's a very easy question what you have asked. So what I'll do is I'll divide it by 62, which gives us the number of moles of ethylene glycol and divide it by the weight of solvent. I weight calculate karta hon, and the depression is given as 9.3. What is this weight equal to? Can you tell me what is this weight of solvent equal to? Bataye. What is this weight of solvent equal to? 161.29. Okay, so this weight turns out to be 161.29 grams. That means out of this 200 gram of water, 200 gram water may now some part has changed into ice and now the molality is dependent only on the rest of it which is 161.29 so kitna ice mein separate ho gaya so 200 minus 161.9 that gives us how much uh, <clears throat> 40 hona chahiye so it will be 39 okay Thirty eight point one gram of ice will separate out. Okay, one sixty one point two nine. Okay, so one sixty one point two nine. So if it is one sixty one point two nine, then it will be thirty eight point seven one grams. Thirty eight point seven one grams. So uh, Sumita, what you do is. 0.5 mole of NaCl is added that means you calculate the molality okay you calculate the molality molality calculate kaise karna hai? moles by mass of solvent in kgs and multiply it with the kf for water which is 1.86 okay that will give you the depression jitna depression aega, that will give you <coughs> the freezing point okay so let's move ahead Let's take this question and this question is your homework. Shivansh, uh, uh, we will do Vantov factor in the next class. Okay, we will do Vantov factor in the next class. So this, my dear students, is your homework. The question is very simple. I've given you an idea earlier that the boiling point of the solution is 100 degree, 100.1 degrees. What is its freezing point? You have been given that the latent heat of fusion is 80 and latent heat of vaporization is 540. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Latent heat of yeah uh, fusion is 80 and latent heat of vaporization is 540. Uh, solubility product is a part of ionic equilibrium, but we are not doing ionic equilibrium right now. So, if ionic equilibrium, then we will cover it. Okay? So, don't worry about solubility product. But this question is very easy. Remember, molality, uh, it's, it's for the same solution. So, what would remain constant? Can you tell me in the comment section that what would remain co uh, constant if the freezing, 
if the solution is the same then what would remain constant molality very good Pritika. molality is gonna remain constant okay so I have given you the idea of freezing point in the freezing point. In the freezing point, you have arranged your H2O molecules. Okay, I am just giving you a fair idea. So H2O molecules are arranging themselves like this. Okay, let's say they are arranging themselves like this. Let's say they are arranging themselves like this. And so on and so forth. Now, when we are arranging water molecules like this to form a ice, to form a block of ice, now if a solute molecule comes in, a solute मैंने यहाँ पे डाल दिया, let's say this black color is the solute, do you think that the arrangement will still be very proper? Do you think that the arrangement will still be proper? No, the arrangement will not be proper. If I add some solutes over here, the arrangement would not be proper. I need to reduce the temperature so that the kinetic energy reduces and so that we re-attain the same thing. Now, one thing, tell me. Jitne zada ye black dots rahenge, if the number of black dots increase, the disruption, the disruption in the lattice or disruption in the arrangement will be more isn't it if I make if there are only two the dip, the uh, disruption will be less if the disruption is more that will be because these black dots are more these black dots are more so suppose I take one mole of NaCl so this is a very important concept which will which we will discuss in next to next class or next class vent of factor if I take one mole of NaCl, so one mole of NaCl effectively produces two moles of particles because one Na plus and one Cl minus. But if I take one mole of uh, glucose, then the number of particles produced will be <coughs> number of particles produced will be only one mole of particles. So this involves a concept of van der factor if i look at the extent of disruption nacl will disrupt more and glucose will disrupt less okay yahi se van der factor ka idea aata hai hum log isko next to next class mein ya fir next class mein isko cover kar lenge theek hai now going to the application of what uh, of depression of freezing point now if anybody has traveled to us or anybody uh, has ever seen this happening in US in cold countries ye hota hai. you can see that this these two people uh, what they're doing is they're sprinkling salt they're sprinkling salt on the ice which is present on the road okay so ye ice ko reduce karne ke liye, uh, hum karte hai in the northern hemisphere where it snows for most part of the winter how does this how does this incorporate depression and freezing point okay how does it incorporate depression freezing point so imagine i am giving you two ideas do cheese is work karti hai ek if a fresh snow falls if a fresh snow falls then since the freezing point is already just seems solute dal dete hain yahan pe freezing point yahan pe jo solution hai uska reduce kar gaya so let's say there is a pavement on the top of it there is some water and there is some i there is some salt on it so it will reduce its freezing point when i add some when there is a rainfall or when there is a snowfall snowfall kis temperature pe snow ban raha tha zero degrees ke aspas but jaise hi wo waha pe girega the freezing point is already very low it will melt okay it will melt okay because it will freeze at a temperature of let's say minus six degrees celsius or minus seven degrees celsius but the ambient conditions are ambient conditions are only zero degrees celsius okay again if you add it on the top of ice ice which was present at a temperature of uh, zero degree celsius ambient condition zero degree celsius ice form hai bahut aram se but the moment you put 
सॉल्ट ओवर हियर दिस आइस परसीव दैट कि मेरा मेल्टिंग पॉइंट तो कम हो गया आर मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इज रिड्यूस्ड बट एम्बियंट कंडीशन में मेल्टिंग एम्बियंट टेम्परेचर इज मोर सो यहां पे रिड्यूस कर दिया आपने यू हैव रिड्यूस इट टू लेट्स से माइनस फाइव माइनस माइनस सिक्स बट द एम्बियंट कंडीशन टेम्परेचर इज अबाउट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस और वन डिग्री सेल्सियस सो टेम्परेचर ज्यादा रहेगा तो मेल्ट हो जाएगा आइस सो सो विद दिस आइडिया आई फिनिश टूडे इज लेक्चर सो बुक्स फॉर ओके बुक्स फॉर फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री यू कैन फॉलो नरेंद्र अवस्थी ओके You can solve R C Mukherjee. Narendra Vasthi is more oriented towards uh, J. Okay, Narendra uh, R C Mukherjee is pretty much for subjective questions, but you need a practice on objective questions. Okay, Sengage you can follow Sengage, and <coughs> uh, Sumita, yeah, take okay? it. So. Uh, if you have liked the video please like share and subscribe please tell your friends that we are doing awesome stuff over here and please let us know in the comment section what is the next chapter after liquid solution we you wish to be covered in my opinion it should be electrochemistry but aap bhi bata sakte hain for people who know that uh, organic chemistry we are talking about organic chemistry i had earlier started with a reaction mechanism series i am trying to री स्टार्ट दैट कोशिश करता हूं मैं कि रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म सीरीज में फिर से स्टार्ट कर पाऊं एंड इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री इज इंपॉर्टेंट इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री हम करेंगे बट रिमेंबर सॉलिड स्टेट इज नॉट ए पार्ट ऑफ जे दिस ईयर एनसीआर ने सॉलिड स्टेट को हटा दिया है सो डोंट वरी अबाउट सॉलिड स्टेट ठीक है सो मोल कंसेप्ट इज अगेन ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड का टॉपिक नहीं है तो हम उसको नहीं करेंगे ओके सो लेट्स फर्स्ट फिनिश ऑल द टॉपिक्स मेन्ट फॉर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड देन वी कैन गो फॉर रिविजन ठीक है so i hope you have enjoyed the session in the next session we will discuss osmosis aur aapke ro machine mein kya hota hai jahan se pani nikalte hain usme kya hota hai and we'll talk about van't hoff factor so bye bye guys and have a lovely day ahead